Hi all, I'm Gary, welcome back to the channel. So today what we'll be looking at is installing and configuring and setting up Mate on FreeBSD 13. This was um, a suggestion from Stephen. So Stephen, thanks for that. Appreciate you taking the time to, to make that suggestion. Without further ado, let's get into it. If we go to our terminal, or our FreeBSD install and log in, you can find out how to install FreeBSD in one of my previous videos. So here we go, we're all logged in. And the first thing we wanna do is get the stuff installed. So I'm gonna install everything in one go. So xorg, we're gonna use package instead of compiling from the ports because that will take an eternity. So we want xorg, mate, Let's install Slim as well, shall we? Why not? And also, my editor of choice, because we'll need a, a text editor. Ready? Here we go. This shouldn't take too long, because I prefetched most of it. Don't forget to have some coffee because you'll need some. If you don't have coffee, you're going to find this quite tedious. Just a few more to go. Now, Stephen did ask for GNOME, KDE, or Mate, and I've gone for Mate because it's the most lightweight, and given this is running in a VM, should be a bit easier on my system. <laughs> so there we go. Let's um, clear that. And the next thing we want to do is just edit our FS tab and we want to add in the proc FS there we go that's that added in let's add in all the services that we want to have start up. As you can see, this is on a VMware guest. We want mouse D, which I've already got from the install. We want Dbus. We want howled. And we want slim, but I'm going to comment this out. So next we want to set up our xinit file. So xinit rc. And we want exec mate session. Now, if you are running this in a, a, a VMware guest, it's probably wise that you install the XF86 video VMware and XF86 import VM mouse. If you don't, you may have a few problems. So let's clear that screen. So next thing we want to do is xorg configure. Ba 
Ba-dum. So there we go. Let's edit the file that it's just created. And that's in the root directory because we're logged in as root. Now, because again, this is a um, VM, I'm just going to make a few changes. Okay, that's done that for me, which is good. And then screen zero should be card, screen zero, card zero. There we go. Excellent. So you'll need to um, configure this com depending on your hardware. So if you're running a GeForce card or an AMD Radeon or ATI Radeon as it was in the day, you'll need to just quickly configure that for that, that hardware. So let's move this. Actually, let's not move it. Let's copy this. To use local ETC. Xall.conf. There we go. So we should be all ready to go. Should we see what happens? You ready for it? We're there. Nice. Fairly easy. We have our desktop. So let's just change my resolution because that's an awful resolution. And apply that. And we'll keep that. There we go. So there we go. So we now have mates running. Let's um, check out what it is. 1.26.0. Mm, coffee. Yum, yum. As you can see, um, it's based on GNOME 2, uh, but we won't hold that against it. Um, all right, so let's, um, let's add a few bits in, shall we? Because this is quite sparse, very sparse. So let's have a mate terminal. That's an awful, awful font. I mean, why has it done that? That's just awful, isn't it? That's better. That looks a bit more reasonable. Okay, so let's install a couple of bits. This may take a few minutes. I haven't prefetched these, so it'll be interesting to see how long this takes. So there we go. That's that done. Let's clear that and we don't, we'll minimize that because we don't need that at the moment. Let's take a look and see what it's done. There we go. Imp 210. I believe that's the latest version. Opened up nice and easily. Let's get that open. OBS Studio would be the interesting one because that didn't work for me on one of the other BSDs that I tried recently. 
This looks good. Yeah, we'll have dark. Uh, so let's go to YouTube. Check this out. Let's see how well it runs. Now, I've got no sound. I haven't configured that, and I'm not going to do that right now. Um, maybe I'll revisit that in a different video. Cool. I've gone down a bit in the rankings, haven't I? Let's check out the Dragonfly BSD. Well, now that's interesting. Don't know if you can hear that. Turns out I have got audio. Well, that's amazing because I didn't even configure that. What, what can I say about this operating system? Well, it, it came around when um, a couple of people decided that they didn't like the direction of three beers. Okay, that's a bit choppy, but that's fine. Um, much better than what it has been running. So that's great. Brilliant. So let's check out LibreOffice. This didn't launch for me on the, the last BSD I tried. Fantastic. Straight away. Amazing. I quite like this. What we got? 7313. I believe 7.4 is the latest at the moment. OBS Studio didn't launch for me. <laughs> it's launched straight away. Look at that. This is brilliant. Most impressive. Quite flabbergasted. <laughs> Always good when things just work. Love it. Yeah. Yeah, no device, of course. I'm very happy. That's worked very nicely. VLC media player. Uh, one last thing. I'm very happy with that. That's just dumbfounded me how easy that was. Even I wasn't expecting it to be that easy. Most impressive. Most impressive. Oh, yeah, that's what we should do. Let's see if we can um, get a dark mode. There we go. Much better. Brilliant. I'm happy with that. I, uh, seriously, I hope you're, you've just realized how quickly and easy it is to set up a desktop on, on FreeBSD because. Yeah, most happy about that. What's the backgrounds we got? None. That's all right. There we go. Ooh. So there we go. And with that, guys, I'm going to skedaddle. I hope you found this useful. I know I have. I didn't realize it would be that easy. Um, it's just just works and that's how you want things to work if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and uh, subscribe and, and come back for the next videos don't forget to click the notification bell it'll tell you when I've released a new video and I'll see you in the next one take care